Hi everyone, it's Holly, and thank you for joining me today on my channel, Smile by Holly. It's great to have you here, and I'm so excited because today we are going to be making an adorable 6x6 mini album with kind of a 4th of July flair. Now, I got the paper from Joann's. It's the Parkland Land of the Free. And can I just tell you, oh my gosh, this paper is so adorable. Look at that cute foiled paper, and it has the cutest embellishments. Look how fun those are, just bright and foiled and just cute. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so if you're going to be crafting with me, you'll want to start out with some cardstock for the base. Now I'm just going to be using white for my base, but you could certainly use any color. So let's start out, you'll need two pieces that are eight and a half by 11. And what we are going to do is just join these two pieces together. So a kind of a trick to doing this is if you bring in your scoreboard, and I'm just going to add adhesive to one of the sides. And then I'm going to just kind of butt it up against the edge of my scoreboard. And I'll bring my other page in and butt that up against the edge of the scoreboard. And that makes for, you know, getting this on just nice and even. Okay, so we have our base. Now you'll want to go ahead and grab you some chipboard and you're going to need two pieces of chipboard that are six by six, two pieces that are one by six, and one piece that is three by six. And to get this lined up correctly, this is kind of a trick that I do, is I actually use my, my mat grid here so I can make kind of just a line to follow by. And this just helps me keep it a little bit more straight. So I'm just, I'm lining it up with the, the lines on my grid and I'm just gonna make a one inch mark. Just kind of so that I have a straight edge to work by. And I'm also going to do this down here at the bottom. Just so it doesn't get on there all wonky. <laughs> okay, now you can use glue for this or adhesive. I'm going to be using some tape adhesive. And this is how we're going to be lining our book up. So the six by six, then the one by six, six by six, one by six, and our three by six. So let me go ahead and get this down. Now one thing when you're making mini albums is you really don't want to skimp on adhesive because this is what's going to hold your book together. So um, I'm gonna start out by leaving about a an inch from the edge and we'll get our first piece of six by six down. Now this is our one by six, one of our spines, and I'm going to put it about an eighth of an inch away from this page, okay? Let's put our second six by six page down. And once again, about an eighth of an inch from that last piece of chipboard. Okay, our second piece of one by six. And then our last piece, which is three by six. Okay, and then one thing that helps when you're assembling your album is if you take your score tool and just score it right along the edge. It helps to get the fibers in the paper kind of ready to bend. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit off of this end because we don't need that much extra. Okay, we're just about ready to fold it, but what I first want to do is I want to miter the corners. And what that is, is it's just taking off this extra material. Now you wanna go almost up to the edge of the tip, but not quite to the chipboard because then your chipboard is going to show in your mini album. So just almost up to the tip, but just leave just a, a little tiny bit left. Okay, now what I like to do is just kind of start to bend my cardstock to get those fibers working in the right direction. You can kind of hear the paper, you know, almost kind of bending. And so before I glue it down, I think this really helps. And it also just goes down a little bit easier. Okay, so let's add some adhesive to all the corners of our base. And as you're doing this, you kind of want to be pulling as you lay it down. So pulling and stretching. And then I like to take my bone folder and just give it a good crease, get that adhesive down into the chipboard. Once again, kind of stretching and pulling as you lay it down. And stretching and pulling. And then I'm gonna take my bone folder and just Burnish that down really good. And then our last piece. Stretch and pull and press it down really good. Okay, now take your, your score tool and we just want to go right in the middle of our little spines and press that down because now we are going to get ready to fold our base. And when we're folding the base, you just kind of want to go slow, just kind of work your paper. And I think, you know, the more patience you have in this part, uh, it'll help to make your base good and strong. Okay, so I've scored all of those. Now just nice and slow, we are going to bend our book. Okay, we are good. Now we're ready to lay our page down that covers this. So what you'll want is a piece of cardstock that is five and three fourths by 11 and then a second piece that is five and a fourth by five and three fourths. Okay, and once again, we're going to bring our scoreboard in and we're going to hook these together. Okay, so take your piece that is five and a fourth and we are going to just lay our paper right next to it and glue this down. So a little bit of adhesive. And once again, I'm just butting this page up against my scoreboard to help get this on straight. Okay, I'm just going to eyeball it and get it laid down on there centered. 
And this is where you'll want to take a roller if you have it. Now you can certainly use a spatula if you have one, but by using um, this roller, it helps to push out all of those air bubbles in the paper. And then once again, I'm going to take my score tool and I'm just going to score on uh, those lines that we have for the spine. Now don't press too hard because it will go through your paper. <laughs> you don't wanna rip your paper at this point. Okay, so let's go ahead and just slowly bend this. Just kind of like we did before. We're just making it so that it bends and you wanna make sure that you don't have any bubbles in your paper. Okay, so we have our base all ready. Now we are ready to start on our very first page. So I'm going to set that aside. Okay, and now we are going to make our base page for the entire book. So you'll want to take a piece of paper that is five and three fourths by 11. Okay, bring in your scoreboard and we will want to score it at five and a fourth and five and three fourths. Let's go ahead and fold and burnish that. And so there is the spine for the base of our pages, okay? So we're gonna bring our book back in. Now there's two parts of this book. We've got the short little flip flap and then we've got our six by six base. We're actually, there's two spines here. We've got a spine here and a spine here. And we are going to glue our little base card down on this spine, okay? So I'm just going to flip my book and we're gonna try to center it onto this and even you can even lay your pages down and make sure that it looks like there's equal distance. So we are done. We've got the base of the book and then we've got our base page and our base page is what we'll be adding our, our other pages to. Now you can do this any way you want. I am doing like double flip out pages on each page. So I'll be adding a page, a flip out here, 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 and a flip out here. Okay, that's gonna make for six different pages that flip out. Now certainly you could just add one here, one here, you know, whatever. I'm just saying you can do this however you'd like, but that's how I'll be doing it. So once again, a uh, page will go here, like this. Another page will go at the top of this page, right here, okay? Then we'll flip it over. We'll put another page here, and then another page at the top of this page, okay? And then our last two, one will go up here, and one will go right here. Okay, so for our pages, our pages are going to measure five and a half by five and three fourths. And what you'll be doing is, let me grab my scoreboard. Um, you'll bring your paper in and on the five and a half inch side, you want to score it at half an inch, okay? That is going to make for our tab, which we will glue down. Okay, and um, I am going to be using six of these pages. So on, once again, on the five and a half inch side, these are five and a half by five and three fourths, okay? So on the five and a half inch side, we are just going to score at half an inch. Okay, we are ready to assemble our book.
And so what you will want to do for the actual pages, and like I said, I'm going to be using this cute uh, paper from Park Lane. Isn't it just beautiful? I'm so in love with it. Um, but what you will want to do is because we had the six flip out pages, you are going to want to cut 16 pieces that are four and three fourths by five and a half. And this is going to just fit perfectly down on your pages. Let me grab one. Down on your pages and leave a little tiny border. Okay, so 16 pieces, four and three fourths by five and a half. I'm gonna go get mine all cut up and then we will decorate. Okay, so I've got all my pages cut for decorating the inside of my book. Now, before we start decorating, let's go ahead and get the pages for the actual base of the book. Okay, and for the base of the book, this is going to be six by six, so we'll need one for this, two for the outside cover, three for the back page, and four for the back, the back of the book. So four pages that are six by six. Then we're gonna need one little strip that is one by six, and one little strip that is three by six. And let's start decorating. Look how fun that blue star paper is. So once again, the paper for the actual base, not the pages, is going to be six by six. Which makes sense because it's a six by six album, right? <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and add a piece on the inside. Mini albums are so fun. I've said before, you know, a lot of times when you're making mini albums, they can turn out so very different. You know, you add just one extra flap and the whole album is a little bit different. Got our one inch spine here. Okay, so let's get this piece down. So how are you guys today? Are you having a wonderful day? Well, I'm crafting, so I'm having a great day. Okay, look how cute the base of that book is. Let's go ahead and add a piece on the back. Okay, so let's start on some of our fun little pages. Now I'm going to be doing like just kind of a, an assortment of pages, some with pockets, some with belly bands, um, just a whole bunch of different fun things. So I think for this first one, I've just made a belly band and I'm gonna add that on. Little tiny bit of adhesive on the edges. And that will work out just perfect to slide a little card down in. Now we're on to our actual pages. Okay, and then for this page, I think I'm going to do a flip up flap. And I've cut a piece that is five by three. I'm sorry, five by three and a half and I'm just going to score it at a half an inch and I'm just gonna add the, add some adhesive. And then that will make for a cute flip up. Now, if you'd like, you can add this on before you put the paper down. Because all the paper coordinates, um, I don't think it really matters, but if that bothers you, put your flip up page down before you put your base page down, okay? Let's 
Okay, so look how cute our book's coming along. Okay, let's open up the other pages and keep decorating. So I'm gonna open up this three page layout and what I wanted to do, I thought this would be fun for a lot of my photos. So I kind of wanted the pages to be the same. Okay, so moving on. For this four page setup, once again, I wanted to just kind of go a little bit more simple. And so I'm going to put plaid on all four pages. Okay, so I am just going to fast forward as I decorate the rest of the book, and then we will come back and I will show you the finished product. Okay, so let's take a look at our 4th of July album. We've got the cute bow on the front with a magnetic closure. That works out perfect because it just snaps closed. The cute USA embellishment. And we've got the belly band on the front with the flip up page. And this would be so cute. You could add a piece of white paper for some fun journaling. Uh, we've got our flip out pages. What a darling little photo layout that would make. And then we have our double four page layout. And another lift out page. We've got our fun little pocket right here that has, you know, cute little embellishment. And then last but not least, our last flip up page. So look how cute this 4th of July mini album turned out. Just over the top adorable. So thank you so much for watching. You know, I really do appreciate all of your support. It means a lot. You know, if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you'd like to subscribe to my channel. So thank you again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful evening and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.